Hi everyone, just want to do a quick uh, video on this uh, Seiko SBD-179 uh, Prospects uh, Ice Diver uh, that I purchased from uh, Exquisite Timepieces, uh, authorized dealer in Naples, Florida. Um, this has got the, uh, the 6R35 movement in it, um, which is a newer movement, and 70-hour um, power reserve, which is pretty nice. Um, really the main thing that a couple of things that uh, sticks out for me on this watch um, the, the dial color is just amazing I'm gonna try to move this a little bit to see if you can just see it slightly different light uh, it's tough um, but it ranges anywhere from you know it's known as the ice blue but anywhere from almost silver to more of a um, uh, kind of a darker blue i would say not dark blue um you got the cyclops uh date window which i actually like for a change i know a lot of people have uh, either love or hate it uh nice big crown which is very easy to operate um bezel action is decent i would say um a little spongy but not too hard to turn you hear a little bit of a click there. It's not awesome, um, but it works, and I'm good with it. And I much prefer that to a uh, bezel that's hard to turn because I am a scuba diver. I use a dive computer, but I also use dive watches. Been diving with watches since 2000. Back then, it was just a, I think, I like a $30 G-Shock, <laughs> um, which actually served me pretty well. I know it's not quite lined up there now. Um, it finally flooded on me on my deepest dive at 136 feet, but I mean, it's a $30 watch. Um, so this ticked off, ticked off a lot of boxes for me. Um, I love that it actually says divers on the dial. It is ISO certified. Um, and that does mean something to me. It's just, it's nice to have because I do dive with my dive watches um so i love that aspect about it a lot of people complain about it you know why is it 150 dollars more than similar models to me it's totally worth it uh for the dial color and um also just a story behind it i, I watched the uh, watch time um online event they had a couple months ago or so um uh with uh the name escapes me right now but they actually had an ice diver on that panel that was wearing this watch. And they had, um, I believe it's a New York Aquarium in the background and that just really spoke to me because I was uh, on the side, I was a volunteer diver at South Carolina Aquarium uh, for 10 years. Um, so he just uh, just really connected with this. And to me, it's, it's totally worth the $900. Um, I think, you know, if you're going to buy a Swiss version of the same thing, you probably you could be spending two thousand dollars for the a similar amount of accuracy. Um, I know people complain about that with with Seiko with the accuracy, but um, and on on that note, um, this watch did start running exceptionally fast, almost a minute fast, uh, maybe a few weeks, a couple months after I purchased it. Um, but I was able to, um, I live in Southwest Florida. I just drove back to exquisite timepieces. They shipped it off to the uh, Seiko Service Center to, for me in New Jersey, I suppose. And I uh, suppose it just got lucky, but um, it was regulated and back to me in two weeks, which is just amazing. Um, because I've heard it can take anywhere from like two months to six months at this point um, with Seiko. And uh, that's one of my arguments, uh, you know, for buying watches through exquisite timepieces. Also, exceptional service. Also, just being able to go there and, and try on a watch before you buy it. This is a massive watch. It's arguably too big for my six and a quarter um, inch wrist, but I don't care. I, I you know, it definitely works for diving. Um, and it is actually fairly comfortable and i've tried it on a rubber strap which trims it down a little bit uh, i'll put on my wrist um, in a minute here um, 
So it is a big watch, but you know, so you can go in and you know actually try watches on because um, it's, it's tough. You can look at the dimensions online, but it's nice to be to you know have that in-person experience. Uh, try it on the wrist real quick before I do that. I'll show you the case back. Of course, the nice uh, Seiko Wave on there. This is a um, U.S. Special Edition as well. I thought that aspect was was cool. Um, so here we go. Try this on real quick. There it is, six my six and a quarter inch wrist. So yeah, on the big side, <laughs> but it works. But most of you probably have larger than six quarter wrists. So okay, thanks everyone.